hammock. We had a so hammock. You could have the hammock's hammock. horrible to sleep in. Well, yeah, well, we're sleeping in hammocks. Yes, but as well. I can't manage it. Does anybody You're 20 else years younger than me or more. <sighs> well, you shouldn't be so rude. I just think David hasn't got um, morals, really. I'm just saying to him that in four days, two days, or tomorrow, if someone else, whether it's me or one yeah, of the sure, other group of sure, ten, sure. want to sleep there, sure. can well, you, you be open give... minded about we it? Last I don't get that. Why, we will if say... somebody's got a cup of are they going to give their bed up for somebody who wants to sleep there? Well, yeah, other people have. They have. Well, other people me. have. Nothing for me, they have. Yeah, well, it has Joe. That bed. Joe was After down I in the cave instead in the of you. Cave. Yeah, Joe yeah, went I did down my there. Bit. But it doesn't matter. I've said what I've said. He Maybe disagrees. I'm allowed to disagree. It's not that big a deal. Let's no one it. said you wasn't. What's wrong with you? Like, you're really bizarre. Like, as soon as someone says something, you think everyone's He's directing it at you. Not, not, you. not everyone. Like, not everyone. No, let's get this right. Not everyone. I haven't said anything to you. What are you doing now? Why are you going on about it? Because you are. You're mutting it under I'm your breath. I'm not. Breasts, I'm not much And you two are giggling together, so I'll say I, what I want to say. We're not allowed to giggle together now. You're just a, do you know it, what? Are we You've not got the mental to age together? of an eight-year-old. You are the perfect example of why you shouldn't do what you did in your heyday. Seriously. It's bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. Nicola got very personal over the bus. Ooh, when Nicola gets a bee in her bonnet, wow, she gets a bee in her bonnet and it really stings. Ooch. On, on whatever criteria, you, you have the option of going down the bus and if you want to go on the bus, you should go on the bus. Thank you, brother. Well, that's sorted. Whatever, let him think he's got his way, because at the end of the day, if I wanted the bus, I would have been on the bus. No question. Oh. Happy birthday, by the way. Yes, and to you, sweetie. <laughs> and to you. What a happy birthday I'm having. This is turning into a bit of a drama, with me, it seems, sometimes, as the lead villain. But I think you'll find, eventually, the real villain of the piece will be unmasked. Isn't it lovely up here? It's sheer oh. luxury to ride Oh, well, you, you have the I'm on this side. side. You have the... Uh, the uh, well, the... would you like to swap now? No, 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 to, it's to all right. Because I'm, I'm, I'm used got... to getting water on me in the evening. I, I'm, I'm used to this now, too. Fantastic. So, it's... so I'm now living in a penthouse. You have the protected side. The luxury with... penthouse. Here I am. And I'm on this bed, am I? You're on this bed. And that's the better bed, is it? You know, we're in flux now. Um, people are moving out constantly. So we'll see how the... Um, bedding situation works out in the next few days. We even have a line, some sort of washing line here, but of course, you know, these will never get dry in here, will they? Uh, that's Danny's. Oh, so we can they're, they're remove Danny's? that. They're Danny's? <clears throat> we don't need them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Are these Danny's? Uh, everything there is Danny's. We don't need it. David is not the most uh, diplomatic nor sensitive uh, person. <laughs> He took them and started tossing them out the window. I thought that was a little extreme, but that's David for you. Throwing clothes out of the window. Well, personally, if you want my opinion, I think that is disrespectful to treat other people's possessions in that way. Sorry, whose hat's this? It's just getting right in the way. I'm trying to do a link in that. It's, it's Danny's. She left it here after the interview yesterday. Did you? I don't do that, do I? <sighs> So, so David's uh, got the perfect start to his birthday then. He's uh, plenty of hugs and kisses, a, a massage from Joe, and Nicola has given him a lovely little argument. The icing on the cake was a nice little chat with an utter, utter nutter. Hey! <laughs> Happy birthday, David. Well, what a way to start my birthday this morning. Did I need that? I mean, you know... Nick hasn't even said happy birthday anyway, so I didn't, but I don't expect her to. I don't expect her to have any generosity of spirit in times like this. That's even before the argument started, she hasn't even spoken to me. I can't open my mouth, not even on my birthday, without Carly or Nicola saying something. David, it's extraordinary. It's extraordinary how it goes ping. Well, it doesn't have to go ping. They all, all they had to do is be quiet, like everybody else. Nobody else put their oar in. If you notice, it was just Kylie and Nicola and Brian who did his peacemaking policeman duties. <laughs> yes. Nicola got involved and um, had a go at David, which was not really appropriate, was it? Sorry, Nicola, shouldn't have said that. And then she got all personal. I never said anything about her career or her boobs. I never said anything. I don't even look at her. Don't you look I'm at not... them? No, I'm not interested. Are you joking? We'd look at that. We'd be accused of being lectures, all sorts of stuff. 
No, not interested. I didn't say look at them well, with I... interest. I, I meant, you know, in well, a sense, you can't okay. quite ignore them. Well, sometimes you can't. You, you, it's true. You go. I think uh, somebody once said, it's not the first look when you look at a woman. It's your second look. It's the lusty look, the double tap. <laughs> so I don't do that. It's a good start to have a great body. No doubt about it. But unless it's coming from the soul, I'm not interested. Soul is everything, isn't it, David? Got to be. You know, one day those fade and deflate. They won't always be that big, will they? Should have them out. I don't think they're that sexy, to be honest. I feel like natural boobs. What's wrong with natural boobs? I'd rather not have all this aggravation, but they started it today. And why should I have to put up with that? I mean, you know, I think there's a couple of men here being complete wimps. You know, I've been in groups with girls all my life. I went to a stage girl with 200 girls with 20 boys. I was in Guys and Dolls, three girls. I was in Bucks Fizz, two girls. I was in Dollar. I've always had girls around in the act. And a lot of the time, I've always had to manage it as well. And I know that girls, if you give them a rope, They'll take the lot. You give them an inch, they'll take a mile. And, and, and that's it, you know. Before we got in, they must have been ruling this roost. It was the women ruling the roost. And because of that, they're finding it very, very hard to give up. That old saying, if you give them a rope, they'll take a rope. They just take the rope. Uh, but there you go. David has really been surrounded by women his whole life, at stage school, in, in Guys and Dolls, in Bucks Fizz, in Dollar. And if there's one thing David Van Dien knows about women, it's how to argue with them. Yeah, he certainly does. But he's got it. Now, you might have noticed that so far, Simon Webb hasn't done a Bush Tucker trial. Mm. So yesterday, when the time came, he took a deep breath, stood up in front of the whole group and read out the instructions for the trial. Today's trial is called Carnage. Carnage? Carnage. Yeah. Carnage. One celebrity will be taking part in the trial. One. One. Ooh, ooh. So, hands up, who would like to do it? it so, the, the then Martina's got a hand up and we all agree that... Martina, I think. Yeah. I think Martina, 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 Martina takes I would love you to precedent. do it as well. Everybody voted for Martina to do the trial. Um, I think she's been going stir-crazy and wanting to do one. Yeah, it's got to be Martina. Martina! Yeah. Yeah. And of course she's going to do well. She's like a ledge. She's like won Wimbledon 20 million times. Good luck, Martina! Hey. Not that you need it. I think you're coming to your own today. Oh, you're going to love it. This is what the one you've been waiting for. Hopefully later this evening, we'll be celebrating my birthday with um, ten meals that Martina might bring back. Oh, this is a gay thing. <laughs> oh, it is, isn't it? I didn't it think is. about that. We've been here for two weeks, or four, day 14 now, so I'm definitely ready. So this is probably, hopefully, up my alley, and I hope to bring a lot of food into the camp tonight. Should I say girl? <laughs> Carnage is something that she uh, has meted out on the tennis court, and uh, whatever this challenge is, she's the woman who can do it. And we're hungry, so... We're looking forward to a bountiful meal tonight. She's an athlete. And a champion, so... The best that we have. Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw! Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Excellent. Nice to see you. You okay? Finally, yeah. Finally, 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 you, finally, finally, finally you made finally it. Finally, at the Bush Tucker Trail training. area. Beautiful. Why are you today? Why are you doing it today, Martin? Because I haven't done one yet. Uh huh. And uh, they said it would be somewhat physical, so it was between me and Esther. And since it was just one of us, we decided that this would be the one for me. So you'd be looking forward to this? I have been looking forward to it. Uh, not so sure I'm looking forward to it now. Well, you heard the name, Carnage. Yeah, we figured it was either lots of things dying, which we didn't think would be good TV, uh -huh. or something to do with cars. So. Let's tell you exactly what's involved. Do tell, please. Okay. You'll start this trial in the front seat of that Mini. The Mini will be winched in line with the other four Minis. So you'll be winched up in the air and it'll be parked in line with the other four Minis. So it'll be five Minis in a line in total. On our signal, you'll climb out of the sunroof 